Hey guys, it's Sid here. Now, you may be wondering where Lydia's lovely voice is. However, unfortunately, she has lost it in the last few days. Somehow, don't ask me how. This is what my voice currently sounds like, if anyone was wondering. So, instead, you have me talking you through our last Scotland vlog through Glasgow and the Isle of Arran. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So we arrived early on the Wednesday morning and were straight out looking for food in the vegan capital of Europe. And I'm sure if you follow Lydia on Instagram, you will see that all we did in Glasgow was pretty much eat. And going through the tons of recommendations that you guys gave to us, which was just amazing and we just couldn't get to all of them. got a room for the night but Sid is just missing camping so much that he's erecting the tent. Our tent is just really really damp yes. so we're trying to dry it's it up. out. Right well this is my room for the night. Hello and welcome to Scotland vlog number four slash five. No it's five. No you mean five slash six. You yes. were close. You were close. <laughs> One number off, but you were close. But yeah, five. That was good. Basically, this is the last Scotland vlog now, which is just crazy. Like, this trip has gone so fast. But we are currently in Glasgow. We got here this morning and so far have just eaten to be honest. And then also done some laundry. So our room has now turned into a laundromat because the dryer didn't dry all of it. So now we're trying to dry it out on the bed. We're about to head out for yet some more food. And all these recommendations. Honestly, you guys pulled through on Instagram with the recommendations. We have the longest list in my notes tab. We've literally said that we're probably gonna come back just to try some more of the recommendations. <laughs> morning it is thursday today and we've just gone for breakfast now we're having a wander around kelvin grove park we're just walking up to the uni now don't really know what the plan is for the rest of the day we're just gonna have a wander around i guess probably eat we more food an escape room and then we have an escape room this evening. I've only done one escape room before in my life and I was absolutely useless because my mind just does not work in that way. So Sid will be doing all the work. Right. Just like fire. After exploring the university and the museum, Lydia said she was hungry. So what that means is we have to go out immediately to try and find food in the most typical Lydia place it is. In this case, it was a smoothie. And then we went on to a place called Loop and Scoop, which was vegan ice cream and churros, which I do have to admit was amazing, as you can see. However, it did feel like we were sat inside a 10 year old's birthday party. Afterwards, we then headed back into the center to go and do our escape room in which I escaped the room and Lydia stood in the corner and waited for me to do everything. However, Lydia was again hungry afterwards, so we went and got some more food and then drank afterwards, which turned into a very long night. Oh, 
Hello. This is a Lydia thing. Good morning. <laughs> Today's Friday. Lydia's not feeling great this morning. No, I feel okay. I've had worse hangovers. I just feel a bit sick. She was just off on one sprinting about the roads last night. I am sorry it. if anyone saw me in Glasgow last night. I was running about the place. <laughs> but anyway, we've gone down to eat today. We've got the museum. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've also got somewhere else to eat as well. So yeah. Heading out, we stopped at Quesal or Calorie Kitchen for breakfast. Mixed reviews, however, on this place. guessing Lydia's 100th smoothie of the trip. We then headed back into the centre to go to this amazing pasta restaurant. On Saturday morning, we caught the ferry over to the Isle of Arran and quickly limbered up for the big day ahead, driving over to Sanix Bay and exploring the beaches there. <laughs> Okay, so Lid has said she is like the, one of the best in the world at skimming rocks. I think she's hoping for 16 skips here. Um, wow. After Lydia's world record stone skip, we drove on to Loch Ranza Castle, which was so stunning that it caused Lydia to faint, only arising to the smell of food. Sunday today and it is officially the last day of our trip. I have no idea how this five technically kind of four and a half weeks has gone by so quickly but tomorrow we're getting the ferry back to mainland Scotland and then we're going back to Leeds in the same day. As you've seen we're currently on the Isle of Arran. We're just here over the weekend and yesterday I didn't really do a lot I'm not gonna lie. We got to the Isle of Arran and I was just so run down and tired so I spent most of the day just chilling in the tent. So today we've got a lot on the itinerary basically fitting in everything we should have done yesterday and everything we should have done today. By the way, the reason I'm on my own is because Sid has gone running on ahead of me and I'm just carrying all the drone and everything.
Well, I was just going to say that... Now, Sid, <laughs> five weeks later, we haven't killed each other yet. And yeah. camping, surprisingly, isn't that bad. We, we're not going to integrate back into society very well. We were both saying that we were quite worried about that. After five weeks of spending time with just each other, we've just moulded into one strange human. <laughs> And with that, on Monday, we started the long journey back to Leeds, bringing an end to our five-week adventure in Scotland. We both want to say a big thank you for everyone who has supported these videos, as they are slightly different to Lydia's usual content. However, we've incredibly enjoyed making them, with hopefully many more adventures to come. And of course, in true Lydia fashion, please like, subscribe, and follow our social medias that will be linked down below in the descriptions. Bye, guys! Bye! <laughs> Why is that? That's terrible. Oh.